Hello and welcome to my first tech review of the Toshiba 8300 tablet. This is a series I'm probably not going to do many videos in for the simple reason it's going to be technology and technology is pretty expensive. Um, I may do some in the future. I mean, I plan on getting the PS4, probably doing for that. Anyway, that's not the point of the video. The point is to look at this the Toshiba tablet. Now, I've had this for a few days, so I've had, you know, time to get used to it and look for the good and bad points. Um, so, quickly on the box, it shows what it looks like and such. And down here, it tells us it can fit SD cards. I haven't put one in yet, but it has 16 gigs of internal, so I don't really need it. It has Gorilla Glass. Now, I had to look what this was up on Google, but... Apparently, um, Gorilla Glass means it's really sort of resilient to, you know, being dropped or whatever. Or it's pretty tough glass. Um, anyway, it's ultra thin, nine millimeters. Wow, is it? Yeah, I guess. Um, has micro uh, ports for. Is that USB? Yeah. Okay, I zoomed far too much in there. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a HDMI and USB mini port. Okay, it has two cameras, inner and outer. Um, it's pretty handy. What's on the back? Uh, technical stuff. Anyway, it runs Android, as it just said there. Can't actually think of anything else. Uh, yeah, it's fragile and stuff. There's five sandwiches in there. No, five equals this. Comes the built-in umbrella. Um, you can put wine glasses on it, and it defies gravity, apparently. That's pretty cool. Okay, anyway. Let's open her up. I say open her up because I've already opened everything up. Uh, I'm just going to do a jump cut to what you get, so bear with me. Boom. Okay, we're back. Um, I've switched the table around as well. Okay, as you can see, you don't get too much with it, really. Cable, tablet. And that's all you really need. I mean, I hate packages that come with like 18 different cables and, you know. So obviously this is the power cable. That, um, it's quite wide as you can see, fits in that slot there. And that is basically a generic USB thing and a power adapter, very handy. Obviously if you're in America you're not going to get this plug, probably. Um, Anyway, yeah, that's a chargey cable thing. It's pretty good. And this is the tablet. It's 10.1 inches, apparently. That's a speaker. It's a charger port or USB port, I guess. That's another speaker. Uh, that's headphones. That's HDMI. One of them. And one of them's, I don't know, USB, I think. You can put an SD card in there. You can put a phone uh, card in there, because this is the 3G version, I believe. That, I believe, is the microphone, maybe. As you can see from this already, this is really thin, like, really thin. Basically, I can spin it on my fingers without too much problem. Right. That's the on-off button. Hold it in, turn it off, and on again, and then click it briefly to lock and unlock the screen. That... I think locks the orientation, so if you flip the screen, the screen won't actually change its orientation. That's volume. That's it. Okay then. They're the buttons. And if I press this... Yay, it's on! I have an Iron Maiden background. This doesn't come with it, obviously. Oh, you never know. Anyway. Ooh, look, it's pretty and stuff. So, if I angle it a bit... Oh, okay, I didn't mean to do that. It flips, as you can see. Yay! Always. That's cool. I prefer it this way because the volume button and stuff is on this side. So, anyway. You get the time. Ah, fucking McAfee. Whatever, it installed. Uh, you get like a few days of McAfee free. If I touch that, it'll tell me the time, the date. My battery. I'll come back to battery. Um, McAfee and I have four new updates. Yay! 
Okay, well, I've arranged these a bit, but basically what you get is there's the clock, I'll show you the camera, actually, I will cut now to a bit of the filming that I've done on this tablet to see the quality compared to this, okay? Um, for reference point, this is me. Hello, this is me on the normal camera that I use, and this is me on the internal camera. Um, it's a bit shaky already, as you can see. It's it's pretty light. I mean, you know, you can easily adjust angles and stuff. Um, you can't switch doing it. That's unfortunate. You can zoom in. Oh, out. This is as out as it'll go. Um, sound quality, from what I've heard, isn't great. I'm not sure how this will turn out, but it's it's not brilliant, basically. Um. Picture quality is okay. It looks pretty nice on this screen, but I'm not sure how much it'll look like on a computer compared to, you know, stuff I shot on my camera. Anyway, back to my camera. Okay, I'm back. Um, sorry about the quality of the video there. I'd imagine it's not brilliant. Um, then the quality of this video isn't the best either. So, camera, Gmail, office, um... Browser, the Play Store, basically, and then I've also uh, these are the game games. I'll show you Temple Run in a second, actually. Um, I'll show you audio quality, actually. Let's go on YouTube for a second. Let's go on my channel, shall we? Channel you should all subscribe to. I may add. That's my history of likes, my uploads. Let's watch my Naruto unboxing video, just to show you the sound quality. There's a layout of YouTube on it. As you can tell, it's a bit tinny, really. Uh, you know, I mean, it's not the greatest sound quality ever, but there we are. Right, back to Temple Run. Actually, is there uh, something else I can show you with one hand? Curiosity. This is Peter Molyneux's uh, game. I call it game. It's sort of... It is a game, but it's it's definitely different. Hmm. Right. I'm not sure if you can tell very well through the. This will take a minute to rotate, but I'm not sure if you can tell very well through the camera. But it does look really nice. The screen is very HD. I think it's HD anyway. Let's tap away some of this poor man's face, shall we? Accidentally tapped already. Anyway, as you can tell, it handles it fairly well. Like, you know, the um, sort of to know the effects of everything shattering and stuff. Very little slowdown. If I zoom out, uh, again, it's got a pretty uh, powerful CPU, I'd imagine. Um, I don't know much about CPUs though, um, but see, it renders pretty well, you know, because this is like an ongoing online thingy as well. Um, right, down here, left is the back button, middle is home button, and the right is the showy, like, thing that shows what's going on. Let's go home. There's loads of media options. Last FM only works on here if you happen to have the subscription, uh, which isn't great. We're okay. Um, yeah, so I mean, this is running Android Ice Cream Sandwich, so you know, that, that's pretty good. That's the almost newest one, I think. Chances are by now you're aware of what Android does. Like, either you have an iOS thing or an Android thing, chances are, or 
Does BlackBerry run Android? I'm not sure. Maybe BlackBerry has its own OS. Anyway, regardless, um, it's 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 very good. I'll start off with the slightly bad points. The battery, for example, when we looked at it last, is forty five. Okay, it's fifty percent then. Yes, it was fifty percent, and now it's forty six. Um, battery does tend to drain a bit, but I'm not totally sure because. This tablet is still in the grace period in that I use a lot of it daily because it's novelty, if you know what I mean. But, you know, I mean, the battery, it's understandable the receiver's too much. Also, if I show you briefly, there's a thing on this called swipe. Now, let's go to... See, and up there, it's typed high. Uh, let's see, hang on. Now this technology is really yay, and it says it. Hi there, viewers. That's that's what I meant to say. Um, it's called swipe down there. Um, basically, you hold your finger on to the first letter. And you drag it around the keyboard, and then the line will follow you. And whatever your fingers touch, it's sort of like typing without having to type anything. It takes a bit of getting used to. It took me about half an hour to properly realise all of the ins and outs of it. Um, but it's really, really handy. It's I really do recommend if you can get something with swipe on to actually try it out because um, it's pretty fun as well. I mean, it saves time. Also, all the clicking. See, that could get really annoying really fast, but if you swipe, it, it's one click for a whole word, so... Sometimes you get a bit of trouble with it. But, you know, that's fine. Right, uh, yeah, that's right. What are the things? As I said, the camera, the camera's okay. I mean, you're not buying this for a camera. Basically, if you're buying a camera, you're buying a camera rather than a tablet. It runs very well. 16 gigs of internal, that's pretty good. Um, volume's a bit tinny. And the battery... The battery doesn't last forever. But equally, you know... It's okay. It's a decent battery, I guess. Um, right. One of the major points of this is the price. This one on Amazon is £320. Now... There is no way that I'm going to recommend this to absolutely everyone, because that's a lot of money. However, if you're looking for a tablet, you want one on the same level with an iPad. I've never used an iPad, but imagine that's what it's like. But yeah, um, it's, I'd imagine the same quality as an iPad. Um, for those of you who aren't fans of Apple's OS, I mean, I'm not a great fan, really, because... They charge loads. Um, let me demonstrate with the Play Store here. You can get a lot of free shit. I mean, you can get it on the Apple Store as well, I'm sure. Um, oh, look. It's breaking dawn. Woo. They look as happy about it as anyone else. Anyway. Um, this, I don't know. I, I think the um, the Android Store is a lot better. I mean... I've noticed one difference between this and my phone, which runs Android. It offers magazines, which is pretty cool. Also, this is actually a viable option now for books, because on my phone, you'd recommend, hey, do you want to buy a book? And I'm like, I, I literally couldn't read it on my phone. There's no way in hell. But this is quite a big thing, as you can tell. So, it's, you know, I, I, I prefer my Kindle for reading, but... If there was something on this that I absolutely had to read and couldn't get it anywhere else, then it wouldn't be the worst thing. Uh, movies are decently priced and stuff. This is more of a review of the Android store, though, so I'm going to go back. Basically, um, out of ten, well, I'd say, like, um, screen quality and graphical-wise, ten. It is absolutely lush. Like, I'm not even sure if you can tell on this camera, but it's very high definition. Even normal definition YouTube videos look very 
I don't know, crisp and sharp, because there's an option to turn high quality off, and I do regularly to make it easier to stream. And even then, they look amazing. Um, sound quality, I'd give an, a 7, maybe. It it does the job. You can hear what people are saying, but I don't know, There's it's lacking. It's rather tinny. I mean, that's because of the size. It, it's understandable, it's, but equally, it still deserves a 7. Um... As for functionality, this is brilliant. This really has got a lot of features. I mean, swipe. Swipe is something that I never never thought I'd need. I basically sort of resigned myself to the fact that I'd have to buy a keyboard at some point for my tablet, which I was okay with, but the fact that swipe exists actually makes it as quick to type as it would with a keyboard, I think, anyway. Um, uh, Price-wise... I'd, I'd give it an 8 because it's £320 as I said from Amazon I'm sure if you shop around you could get it 300 you know maybe 280 something like that that would be a good you know that would be a good investment this is certainly a tablet for those who really want a tablet not just like some cheap thing but like plus it's Toshiba so Toshiba's you know it, it it's pretty good quality anyway um, but yeah, overall, I would give this a 9 out of 10. So, if you are looking for a tablet and price isn't any particular, uh, you know, sort of any particular matter to you, so long as it's, you know, under 500 or something, then the Toshiba 8300 is definitely worth it. There's also the uh, 8300 SE. I th I'm not sure what that stands for. I want to think special edition, but maybe it's not. Anyway, that's... A different size or something apparently um, but regardless the 8300 is definitely something I'd recommend especially for a tablet this is my first one so I can't compare against anything else really but so far I've been incredibly pleased with it so thank you for watching I hope to do more tech reviews in the future when I get technology to review really uh, goodbye for now